If we live in a world of financial wealth that's influencing us all, even where Christians can become materialistic, what is God's opinion of this stuff right here? What is his opinion of all the materialism in the world? Well, we find it when it comes to a choice you and I have to make between God or money. He says you can't serve two masters. You may be able to do it for a while, but you can't do it indefinitely. Sooner or later, you're going to choose one or the other. When I study the scripture on this topic, I find that Christ personally bought by his death my will, my affections, my mind, and my soul. As a matter of fact, he owns me. So what is God's opinion about this? He says, oh, I own everything in the world, including this stuff. And what else is his God's opinion? Oh, I'm also the redeemer. Do you realize that God doesn't believe in debt? He doesn't believe in borrowing money. So he came and paid the debt. He says, I own you by creation and by redemption. And then he says, look, I'm jealous. I am jealous so much that I want to protect the people that love me and try to serve me. You know, there's a, a story in the a New Testament about the widow's might. She was poor. She gave everything she had to God's cause, even to a church that was trying to kill Jesus. They were, they were trying, they, they, they would keep the Sabbath, but they felt it not a problem to try to plan on how to get rid of Jesus on the Sabbath. So sometimes we don't want to give something to the church. Well, your church hasn't tried to plot the destruction of your life, or at least they haven't yet, and I hope they never will. So it doesn't really matter how much money you have or how little money you have. There's a guy by the name of Zacchaeus. I would love to have known what went on in the conversation when Jesus was in that guy's house. Zacchaeus, he said, I'm going to return to those people what I've taken from them, and I'm going to give up to half of all my income. I mean, there was some magic, some power. I call it magic, but it was from heaven. You know, when you and I accept Christ and we choose him, he reinstates us as his steward. We pick up where we left off in the Garden of Eden. Be a good steward.